Hello friends. Today we will be discussing on velocity product console component walkthrough, wherein we will cover in briefly what all components are involved and how to use them. So my name is Suresh Vinjari and welcome back to my channel. If you are keen to learn in velocity stuff, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification for new videos. So let's get started. So in today's session we will cover product management, pricing, foundation, rules, metadata and layout management. In product management, we will be covering product configuration, promotion and discount configuration. In pricing section, we will cover price list, a price plan. In foundation, how uh, we will cover how we can create or use attribute, uh, pick list, pick list items. In the rule section, we will cover rules, rule set, how we can use context scope, context dimension and how uh, context action mapping all that stuff. In the metadata, we will uh, we'll walk through how the object will be defined and how that object, uh, you know, the attribute used on the object and how object type is in the product. And lastly, in the layout section, we will cover uh, what are the different facets and uh, sections available in the Velocity Product Console. I have connected to Salesforce of now. Let's open Velocity Product Console or sometime we call uh, as a VPC. So there are two ways to open a Velocity Product Console. If your app has, if your console app has Velocity Product Console as a tab, you can directly go and click that. Or else you can go to App Launcher and you can search for console. You get that Velocity Product Console. Right? So uh, this is the, the dashboard where all uh, components you know, related to Velocity Product Console are available. And by using this component, we can do a lot of uh, lot of stuff which is related to velocity and CPQ stuff we can do. So let's get started with our product management. In product management, we have a product promotion and discount for our stuff. Right? So uh, if you want to go and search for uh, what all existing products can configure, right? We can use this search icon. And this is the, the plus icon. If you want to create a new product, you can use this. So currently we just walk through this uh, existing what are the components it's involved and we can we can get explored. And for the new product creation, there will be a separate uh, separate video or session integrated, right? We can refer that. So yeah, so uh, this velocity product console um, will provide a wildcard search. What I mean is if you if you know the product name or product code or description, you can search for that. tab. If you don't know, uh, then you can directly click on the search. It will provide you all the, all the configured products. It will even provide the commercial as well as technical products. Uh, again, we will discuss what is the difference between commercial product and technical product. Let me open one of the product. I have opened 3G, uh, 3G data plan. Right? So once you open the product, it has uh, multiple tabs are associated at the website, right? In the general tab, uh, this information will be like, you know, uh, name, product code, what object type, what, what specification, uh, type, subtype, all that data will be provided. Even uh, is the product is orderable or not, all the details. Right? Here in this section, we'll be having uh, the effectivity, uh, is product active or not, uh, is product, what is the start, uh, selling start date, quickly start date, end date, in the flight date will be configured. And this button will provide where all this product in reference to get to know uh, in this general properties, right? And uh, this section can be configured. Let's say uh, based on the project requirement, right, or application to application, if you want to have different fields in this, that can be um, that can be configured using the layout manager. So moving on to the next step, attributes and fields. In the attributes and fields section, so whatever the fields which are created as part of product new object are all available for all the products, right? And um, so these are the attributes which are configured for these products are shown up in this section, right? So what happens is sometimes these attributes will be configured or inherited from the object type, which is as part of uh, the product object type. If not, uh, based on the requirement, you can directly assign the attributes at the product level by using attributes and fields. 
right? Uh, yeah, so I will not do that, but I'll just open and show it once. So we will be covering a separate session on how to create a, a full product or we'll regarding that product. So, so whichever attribute you need, you need to select that and you need to assign it. Going on to the next step, attachment. So attachment comes in handy when, you know, sometimes what we need to show that at the by flow level, if you want to show the product as an image, so that time you need to create an attachment. You need to uh, upload an image into static resource and that reference we need to provide it here as the URL. And if it is in supported file, image and video. And if you have a multiple uh, images, you can again provide the sequence as well as the default image. Uh, this section, moving, moving on to the product structure, this section talks about uh, if your product is offer level or bundle product, the hierarchy can be seen and what is the cardinality for every you know, the child product can be shown. If you want to add, uh, if you want to add the product or create a bundle or a structure, you can click and you can choose a child products. You can um, set a relationship type. Is that a child or realization? And even you can set uh, what is the cardinality, the uh, default minimum and maximum cardinality. And even you can set if the child product has to be uh, virtualized, uh, collapse hierarchy, and all that stuff. Moving to the next step. So in this pricing tab, uh, for the particular selected, let's say in this case, in G data plan, what is the what is the price list and what is the pricing value, right? Or what is the pricing element amount uh, we need to select here. Uh, in this case, the B2C price list is a Price list and which is associated. The price list is also associated to standard price, right? And uh, which is of amount $1499, which is of recurring monthly as a pricing element, uh, what we call variable rate, and it has a technique thing, right? Uh, in order to show the commercial product in the, the hybrid card. It is one of the mandatory parameters that you know, product should have a price list, active price list entry, right? So if product does not have an active price list entry, the product will not show up in the hybrid car. Uh, even you can have a multiple price list. Uh, there are other criteria associated with it. So probably you know, uh, we'll have a separate session on that. So uh, moving on to the context rules. So uh, if product has any eligibility criteria or uh, 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 availability criteria, right? So we need to assign a rule set, right? And rule set will contain a rule. Uh, eventually, it will contain a context, a score, context mapping, rule, rule conditional, all that stuff will be uh, The layout manage, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to make any change in this, uh, the fields and all that stuff, we can make this a layout manage. Similarly, the product uh, structure, right? So we have a promotion, right? If you want to create a new promotion, you need to click plus here. And if you want to uh, look existing uh, configured promotions, you need to go up here and search it. So uh, we, currently there are two, pro uh, two promotions configured, iPhone X into promo. So iPhone 10 intro promo. So yeah, so here, uh, so basic details like what is the uh, promotion name, what is the promotion code description, how we can identify that. Uh, is there any uh, code associated and every promotion will be associated to a price list, right? So uh, time policy and all can be defined here, time for plan and time policy. Uh, Right. And here we need to associate a particular promotion to the product. Right. Uh, here, uh, so what type of action you want to do? You need to define the product adjustments. So the selected promotion of product associated with the promotion. What what type of action we are trying to do can be uh, shown up here. Right. So this will be applied to this. So again, the promotion will be. Um, can have a context source uh, if any particular criteria no, need to be uh, fulfilled before applying that promotion can be uh, added under the context source. Again, this context source will be having 
context mapping, context scope, rule, rule criteria, and then we need to add that particular rule set here. 